this video we are going to look at the different ways of notating scalar and vector quantities. There are a variety of ways of reading and writing vectors and scalars. Some textbooks, teachers and YouTube videos use different notations so best to be okay with them all so that they don't trip you up. We can symbolize scalar quantities using capitalized letters or with an absolute value sign around it. For example the symbol V for the scalar quantity of volume can be expressed as seen. Vector quantities, however, have lots of different ways of being written and in nearly all cases use lowercase letters. Let's look at the symbols for velocity. You might see it in digital notation that vector quantities can be represented with a bold lowercase letter or an italicized lower or uppercase letter. This notation is also used by Richard Feynman. We can also symbolize vector quantities using a lowercase letter with a line below it or an arrow on top of it, which can also be written within an absolute value sign. Note that the relative magnitude can be determined by the length of the arrow and this is not to scale, just comparative to other vectors. So if one has a longer arrow than another, it is relatively bigger. You can also determine the direction of the vector from the way in which the arrowhead points. For example, if it points to the right, the direction is to the right. You may also see a vector written as a lowercase letter with a super or subscript of x. There are also a few shorthand ways that we can notate vector quantities. This is known as stenography and we use it all the time to quickly refer to things. Think of how you might write e.g. rather than for example. Shorthand notation is also used when writing as it is hard to do bold or italics. These include putting a dash on top of the letter or a tilde sign above the letter which can also be put below the letter. The tilde below the lowercase letter is used by both Dr. Stephen Barry from UNSW and Dr. Stephen Davis from CSIRO. We can then look at some common examples of scalar and vector quantities and their common symbols using our understanding of scalar and vector notation. Firstly, looking at scalar quantities, time can be represented with a lower or uppercase T, distance with an uppercase D or lowercase H or L, mass with an uppercase M, speed with an uppercase U, temperature with an uppercase T, volume with an uppercase V, and density with an uppercase D or the row symbol which looks like a lowercase P. Conversely, if we use the arrow notation for our vectors in this example, velocity can be represented as a lowercase u or v, acceleration as a lowercase a, force as a capital F, momentum as a lowercase p or capital G, displacement as a lowercase s or x or using the delta symbol. For this example, we will use the arrow above the letters and we can keep this consistent across all of the examples. However, you could also use a different notation, such as the tilde below the lesser. Whatever notation you choose, you must keep it consistent across all the different symbols you use. So that is how we notate vector and scalar quantities, and make sure that you are familiar with a range of different ways that vector quantities in particular can be written so that you recognize them in textbooks and videos.